Hey everybody, how's it going? So I have this very, very nice desktop next to me. It's a custom build Corsair RGB in here. It has an MSI 3090 graphics card and it also has an i9 processor. And it looks great, right? And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why are we talking today? Why are we here? Why is this, why are you showing off this nice desktop that we have here? So it's actually in here for repair. There's a software problem with this and the customer tried to install a Windows and they kept getting uh, an issue every time they would try to boot to it or any other time they try to use it. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about that today. It's about having multiple drives and installing a Windows on a multiple drives for this one. And when you install Windows, you usually see for the first time um, when, there's, when, there, when you have two blank drives, uh, a few di different disks there if you have multiple disks. Otherwise, it would just be one disk, and that's probably why you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you only had one disk drive in there in the first place. So Windows for the first time, you'll see those unallocated spaces, and that's where you want to install Windows. You'll see that there's two, two drives in this particular case, that there's drive zero and there's drive one. And you'll see drive zero is a one terabyte drive, which is the data drive, which is the place that the customer wants to install games. And then there's also drive one where he wants to put the main operating system and everything on. Now, when you install Windows, you'll see that, that there will be four partitions that you do put on there. Partitions can consist of um, like MSR, which would be Microsoft System Reserve. It could be a recovery partition. It has the main partition where the OS goes and then just other stuff that are system reserved for recoveries and lots of other things. Um, when you install that, you're supposed to get four partitions, right? And you'll actually see that it's on there. Now, um, you'll notice that there is one thing a little bit interesting you'll see, especially for M.2 drives, is when you install an M.2 drive, or if you have multiple drives in your um, desktop, you'll see that there are there's the SATA port 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're asking yourself, well, why does it even matter? In this case, it kind of does. So whenever you do have uh, a main desktop, especially like this one here, you want to make sure that you plug in the main OS drive to drive zero. That's where Windows naturally wants to install and allocate all the partitions, all the OSs there, because it knows as drive zero. When you have an M.2, um, a lot of times it will be allocated as drive one, and even a, a data drive might be allocated as drive zero, even if you plug it in. Even if you plug in other SATA drives, it's going to knock it down uh, the M.2 drive maybe to another drive and won't be the lowest tier drive, and that still gives a problem as well. So in this case, we have the main data game drive in drive zero. And when he tries to install on drive one, it makes uh, those four, four partitions. But if you'll notice that one of the partitions actually gets slapped on to, to drive uh, zero. And you'll see that's the MSR partition, which is the Microsoft System Reserve partition. It's only used on the UEFI system using GPT partition structure. It is created to reserve a partition of the disk space for possible usage by the OS itself, which in this case is Windows. It doesn't really have any meaningful data or anything like that, but it is a Windows partition that's there. It's allocated as part of a, of a Windows installation and can be used as needed. Now, um, when you, whenever this happens and what's happening with this customer, there can be two problems. You can either get just random blue screens, or you can also get a problem where it will ask for a disk check almost every single time that you boot the machine or seeing something else because it knows that one of those partitions is actually on the other drive and it's, it's not on the main drive. So if you'll see, we actually do show that um, when when the partitions were installed that there is a partition, the MSR partition is on drive zero and also has the data drive on drive zero and there won't be any MSR partition on drive one at all. It will just be all forced to drive zero. So and the OS actually see this actually as a problem and can give you that all the time. The only real way to do this would be to reinstall Windows the right way. And for this type of fix, what we like to do is to recommend that you, whenever you do have multiple drives here, is that you disconnect all the drives, install the main drive that you have for Windows. If it's an M.2 drive, plug that in first. If you have another SATA drive, plug it in drive zero, install Windows first, and then connect the drives that you have after that so you will avoid this problem. Just a quick talking point there today, just to let you guys know that's a good thing to actually do just to look out for because that is a big problem and we've seen them in here before because of that. We have lots of ways if you did build a desktop for the first time, how to install Windows. We have bootables. We show you guys how to do that. This is a big issue I know with Windows 10. I believe Windows 11 will do this issue as well. So it's just a good PSA for you guys to, to learn and to, to learn from other people's mistakes and just to see what we see here. We've seen this a lot of times and it actually personally happened to my own rig before. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys will watch this video. Just a little bit of a rant that we have here. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.